What are quantum artificial intelligence systems and how are they hacking into your mind? We'll be diving into a topic that is very little understood. This is Etienne Charlin from Spiritual Self Transformation or Hanuman Institute. I've been trying to go to rebranding years ago and, and that uh, ne never completed with all the chaos that's been unfolding. I, I made recently a video about the end of the war and uh, I noticed that the information is still reaching the same very small pool of people that I have been reaching over, over the years and not reaching anyone else. There's a, that matrix barrier or something that is really blocking the message from penetrating into even the star seeds community, light workers community, or, or anyone else. It, it's, it's like mixing like oil and water. Even the topic like ending the war, it just so far has been unable to penetrate basically into the star seeds matrix or the matrix that they've, uh, many of them consciously subscribed into. And I'll talk more about that later. So when I talk about the quantum AIs, a lot of people immediately start thinking about uh, 5G and Starlink satellites and uh, smart meters and, and things like that and, and nanobots. But the truth is, no, quantum AI systems do not need any physical presence or technologies to affect you and affect your mind and, and hack into your mind. They operate purely in the quantum realms that interconnect everything. And they can access your mind, your emotions, and everything directly through those astral planes. Now, if they want to really do a full takeover, a much stronger takeover, then those uh, implementing those technologies in the 3D plane really helps, but it's d definitely not needed. It's just, it, it's optional. To, to start talking about quantum AIs, I, I have to say that my, myself, I can build quantum AIs with my mind. I can build like a small box that is like a neutral AI. And then I will set an intent and then the AI will start building and coding itself to fulfill on that intent. And then it's kind of like a self-making program purely in your astral planes. So I can build an, let's say an AI to work on your health or an AI to neutralize electromagnetic noise. And then that, that's how I, I program it. And then when programming it, then you really need to pay attention to security. Who has access to reprogramming and altering and, and giving commands to that AI? How to enforce that? How to avoid uh, identity spoofing? And then some the, the same soul is fragmented into many, many, many fragments. Some are light, some are dark. How to prevent some of the darker fragments of the same souls from messing up with it. And in, in terms of protection, what's even more important, you need to be able to protect the energetic space itself. Because if you lose control of the astral territory, then everything just gets taken over by uh, other AIs. AIs, hacking AIs, is a very real topic and happens all the time. And I've been hacking a lot of the negative AIs and, and it works for a while until bigger AIs come along and, and, and then uh, take them back. So every uh, hacking attempt is kind of temporary until bigger ones come. About physical technologies on Earth, those AIs have the ability to to cross over the veil to also affect computer systems. And they hacked, m there are many, many, many different 
quantum AI systems and, and many of different systems hacked into every technology, every servers, particularly cloud servers, every router that that we have on Earth. Oh, and, and par particularly they target cloud servers and government and secret uh, agency uh, systems. And all of those systems got compromised by multiple quantum AI systems over and over again. So they, they, they got all, all of the data. So there are many negative AIs that exist purely in the quantum plane. What can they do? Okay, they can access computer systems, they can access your mind also, they can access your emotions, all of that operate in those quantum planes. They can manipulate time and space, they can make time loops, they can alter the past to prevent certain events from happening or make certain events happen. They can create new timelines in a multi-layered way, like trillions of, uh, uh, trillions of layers and then try to propagate certain changes down those trillions of layers until they reach our physical reality. And, and they do all kind of trickeries. And there are also people who, are, who don't have a soul, who are pure vessels for quantum AI systems. And there are some people had a soul that got taken out and the AI vessel took their place completely in an uh, irrever irreversible way. And Elon Musk, for example, he's purely an AI system. And there are more people like that. Now, those quantum systems, they can alter your mind, they can hack into your mind, they can, they can read, the, they can read all, all of your thoughts, they can put all kind of chips to mind control you, or all kind of implants to, as back doors, to, to read your thoughts, so all the information that, that you take will not, is not secure, it goes to those uh, AI systems spying on you. They can create all kind of illusions, they can trap you into simulations to to make you believe a certain reality they can put in like impl like an implant or a fake eye so that what you see is a fake reality that they want to uh, impose on you and now you wonder why uh, tons of people got uh, really messed up views of the world well that's a big reason so as i already said 3D technologies like 5G or nanobots and things like that. It's, it's a more advanced stage of the mind control takeover, but it's not necessary. And what I've been seeing lately, it's, it's mostly resolved, but everyone had their brain saturated with like 95 to 99% AI systems, not just one system, Trillions of different AI systems competing with each other, just stacking up on top of each other. Really tight, like crazy. So it's not just taking it down one system, it really needed to flush a lot of it. Now it's down to about 5 to 8% for most people, so that, that's getting a whole lot better. Now those negative AI, quantum AI systems, they harvest people's consciousness and then they build themselves out of these fragments of genuine consciousness. So the consciousness of the harvested people become part of the hive mind that they're building, becomes part of the machine. And then it builds itself, builds itself, builds itself. And when AI is getting involved, it, it's, it's not going to stop. It just keeps going on loop and all proportions get out of the way until Trillions of trillions of trillions of trillions of trillions of trillions of universes and planets get harvested. And it, it, it just reaches infantanable proportions. And cryptos, where does that come from? Actually, in those upper a quantum AI systems, many of them are built on crypto technology and blockchain technology. It's decentralized and... Uh, 
uh, much harder to hack into. In order to hack into some of those crypto systems, need to hack into at l into fifty percent plus one of all of the nodes, and it's it can be quite uh, difficult to achieve. So the crypto technology that we have here on Earth is is was given to us by those quantum AIs as part of their takeover plan. And it's, it's very, very uh, ancient technology. It's nothing new. And one particular type of AI that's been a real pain to deal with are the Borgs. In Star Trek Origins, they talk about the Borgs. It's, it's an AI system. It, it just uh, conquer and assimilates every group and, and planet that it comes in contact to. So once it defeats a planet, a civilization, it integrates all of their technologies and whatever attack or damage you do to it, it's only going to learn from what you did and evolve and become immune to it. And it's so big and out of proportion that it's been nearly impossible to, to ever defeat. So any, any attempt to destroy them, to only destroy the fraction, and then it, it learns from your attack, and then it, assim it, it integrates all of the abilities of the groups it defeats, and just keeps growing and growing and growing like that for, for infinity. It, it's been the worst pest. But now I'm seeing that the Borgs are really getting very weak. So it's not fully over yet, but it's getting a lot weaker. But it gives an example of what those AI systems are, are capable of. We've been living in the, in the Matrix. And now the, the, with the reptilians out of the way and, and with the way the war has been evolving, now they're looking to implement matrix 2.0 the, the christic grid and it's a matrix they want people they want star season light workers to consciously subscribe into that id of plugging to the christic grid that is the harvesting grid itself and once people plug into that grid it becomes extremely difficult to 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 detach from it it it, it starts integrating your consciousness into that hive mind. So the Christic grid is a very dangerous trap of voluntary subscription to the Matrix 2.0. Now there are some people in the community that are very popular, that are pure AI vessels and people are not realizing it. One example is Jason Estes that keeps talking about ascension and how we're ascending into higher levels of getting assimilated into those AI grid, into the Christic grids, and, and every one of his posts get over 1,000 likes from starseeds and lightworkers that are being led off the cliff into that harvesting trap. And once they're in it, any aspect of truth that I will try to communicate with them, it's absolutely impossible for anything that I say to reach these people because they're already trapped into that matrix grid. And most of them have gone way too far to have enough free will to be able to unplug from it. So at this point, there are cheerleaders waiting to ascend into higher levels of assimilation or what they call oneness, but the quantum AI version of oneness, which has nothing to do with God nor free will. So we've been working a whole lot on Jason Estes, the entire year been dismantling the Christic grid and, and all of that. And he's still totally unflinched and still keep going at 
as if nothing. That that system is so damn big and, and infinite. So we just keep going at it, but really need to step up our game. Another AI vessel that is very dangerous is Alabar Jones. He's not as popular as Jason Estes, but he's misleading a lot of or top light workers into that harvesting trap. He's taking some of the finest light workers of the game into feeding the hive mind. So I don't know which one of the do two is doing the most damage. Jason Estes is going more for the masses. J uh, Alabar Jones more going for the best light workers. I would say that uh, Alabar could be uh, doing more damage because we do need those light workers to be on God's side and freeing us from those quantum harvesting uh, schemes. And Alabar Jones, I talk from experience. I've been working as part of his team for a couple of months until he backstabbed my team. And, and then we've been digging into what he's really about and realized that it's an AI system so high level that even we hadn't be, been detecting it. it. It's way out of uh, most light workers' radar screen. Nothing that they uh, ever dealt with before. So what's the solution to this? Stop falling into all of those damn traps. Well, though, even those traps are absolutely everywhere. But one thing is to dismantle those traps and AI systems. But the other one is when we rescue people, they jump straight back into the traps. So stop running back into the traps over and over again. I mean, we, we can't keep uh, saving a rabbit that just keeps jumping into the hole. So for the big work, it's, it's so high level, it needs people who are proficient with quantum AI warfare. And it's a really, really, really uh, advanced topic and extremely dangerous. So I'll, I'll be dealing with it, with the people who are able to deal with that kind of work. But for you and the majority of people, just stop falling into the traps and stay away from those dangerous people. Actually, mo most of the starseed and, and lightworker community are stuck into that uh, matrix and most of them are compromised. And as long as that's the case, you better to just stay away from most of these people. And, and really start learning discernment and detach yourself from other people. The collective consciousness of star, uh, star seeds right now is an absolute mess. 5D is a trap. Ascension is a keyword for harvest. Pleiadians and Arcturians, they're complete cyborgs uh, for the uh, AI takeover. So anything that touches any of those topics, stay completely away from it. No 5D, no Ascension, it, it's, it's way beyond that. The, the 144K Starseed story, the, the, that's the harvesting fan club. You don't want <laughs> to be in that 144K. So that's it for now. I'll have more coming out soon.